Hi viewers, welcome to the Grammar Channel. In my previous videos, we learned all about nouns and its kinds. Like the types of nouns, proper noun, common nouns, singular noun and plural nouns, countable and uncountable nouns, collective nouns, abstract nouns and concrete nouns. And now we are looking at the gender of nouns. Today's lesson is all about gender of nouns. Let's move into the lesson. Nouns that refer to the males belong to the masculine gender. Nouns which refer to the females belong to the feminine gender. I repeat, nouns that refer to the males are masculine and which are which refer to females or feminine gender. There are many ways of forming the female, feminine gender from the masculine gender. Like in many cases, there is a different word altogether to denote the feminine gender. I'll give you some examples here to make it more clear. Now, when we say uh, father, male form, masculine, and feminine form is mother, boy, girl, husband, wife, king, queen, sir, madam, uncle, aunt, these are all the forms to uh, forms a set of words from masculine to feminine. Now in other cases, by just adding a, an ESS, add ESS, we can form the feminine gender. I'll give you some examples here. God, goddess, G-O-D, God, we add E-S-S, but with a different spelling, G-O-D-D-E-S-S, -S. host, hostess, H-O-S-T, host, H-O-S-T-E-S-S, -S. steward, stewardess, priest, priestess, shepherd, shepherdess, S-H-E-P-H-E-R-D, shepherd, male form, S-H-E-P-H-E-R-D, E -S -S. So, there is another way to form the feminine gender that is leave out a vowel and add ESS like actor, actress, A-C-T-O-R, male form, A-C-T-R-E-S-S, -S, feminine and prince, princess, tiger, tigress, T-I-G-E-R, male form, T-I-G-R-E-S-S, -S -S, female form. Waiter, waitress, W-A-I-T-E-R, waiter, W-A-I-T-R-E-S-S. -S. Now, the next set is, by changing part of a compound word, the feminine gender can be formed. I repeat, by changing a, a small portion of a compound word, we can change it into feminine form. I'll give you an example. Billy goat, nanny goat. Father-in-law, mother-in-law, bridegroom, bride, he bear, she bear, landlord, landlady, milkman, milkmaid, peacock, peahen, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, stepfather, stepmother. All these are examples of changing a part of a compound word and make it into feminine form. Masculine nouns refer to words for a male member that is man, boy, actor, horse, etc. And feminine nouns refer to um, the words refer for a female member, woman, girl, actress, all that. Now, common nouns refer to members of species and don't specify the gender. That is on form. See, when we say parent, friend, client, student, these are all commonly, we, we don't specify Male, male form or female form, we just say parent, friend. Now, when we go into masculine gender, the names of male animals or persons are said to be the masculine gender and these are the examples, man, boy, lion, hero, king and all that and feminine forms are woman, girl, lioness, maid, milkmaid and all that, queen, mother, these things. And common gender, when we say common, we say baby, we didn't specify male or female. Child, we didn't say girl baby, girl child or boy. Cousin, servant, 
person, student, teacher, neighbor. So these are all common gender. And there is another set, neuter gender. The names of things that are neither male nor female, things without life, said to be neuter gender. I can give you some example for neuter gender. Book, table, chair, pen, stone. These are the examples of neuter gender. So we learned today the gender of nouns in different forms with examples and explanations.